you know, I'm checking YouTube more and more these days, and there are like so many girls, so many girls who are doing like makeup vlogs, and that's what they're doing. They're showing and sharing secrets about how they get ready. Maybe it's a special dinner, maybe it's a special date, maybe it's just to impress that guy at school, you know? And for guys, there are like none. So I'm looking and looking, and there's like zero. It's practically just guys trying to sell stuff or,、uh, you know, look good, advance their fitness channel, or sell like some protein or six pack abs, that kind of thing. I want to. Maybe I should do an eight pack abs kind of thing.、Uh, but no, I've never subscribed to Mike Chang. I don't do any of his programs, and、um, I'll do another video. I'm not saying, speaking out against him just yet. I'll do a video about my opinion of him. Not like I. But first, I should do thorough research before I formulate something. But if I were you, if my. Brother asked me, a girl asked me, what do you think of Mike Chang? Which they often do. I say, just hold your money a little bit more and just watch your time. Because, <laughs>、um, well, he's, he's a businessman. And, and I'll leave it at there for this video. And I just want to say, there aren't enough guy videos out there showing guys how to prepare. You know, for that special someone or just to look、uh, prepared.、Uh, maybe it'd be, whether it be a, for a business interview or for, to impress that girl at school or to do something、um, for yourself. And I want to talk about now, like, the preparation stages. I want to talk about like after you get ready, when you do get ready, you need to like watch out for downy.、Um, let's say downy and fabric softeners, they have like a special effect on the smell, right? They try to mask the human scent.、Uh, Europeans don't think that way.、Uh, many Americans, they try to say that. Europeans don't bathe enough, and I'm gonna get. I'm not, I, I hope I don't get flack for that because it's not my opinion, it's just a stereotype、uh, which I'm mentioning and I'm trying to break. So,、uh, many Americans say that、uh, Europeans deliberately do not bath、uh, because they believe, they hold the firm belief that they, they should preserve.、Uh, The attractive pheromone from their bodies. While in other countries, you know, like they do their best, you know, downy perfumes, Abercrombie, Chanel, Dragar, all the men's scents. And、uh, that's a good idea because I'm trying to search for all the perfumes that I have. And、uh, I have a, quite a stockpile, but As everyone does, they only have like one or two that they really favor and like, and the other ones try to make you go dizzy. And、um, so, because I am from the West Coast, California, I mask. People try to mask their scent. It's kind of strange. But what they do is that you wash all your clothes in Abercrombie and Downy. And then you try to spray your body with like musks. And before you do wear, I always like, even though you rinse, or of course, the best is you take a full, full for 40 minute or one hour bath. And but if you don't do that, then you should shower or something like that. But even without that, just like me, you can wipe down because if you shower today, and now in Tokyo, the air is so dry that、uh, literally you're gonna have like rashes. Uh, because you shower too much, or because, what is it, eczema,、uh, you'll suffer from skin conditions. And today, I'm gonna, in the middle of winter, 
I'm sporting pink uh, because the people I'm gonna see, you know, people have like their daily schedules and it's not the best of weather conditions. So I actually dress more brightly uh, during during damp or like windy or like snow conditions just to cheer myself up and bring a different ambience, a different um, feeling to the people who I meet. So pink in winter, that's gonna stand out too much. So what I've chosen here is one of a standard, I call it a standard uh, cardigan. And I call it standard because it's not particularly like a color that you fancy or something like that, but it's just to bring uh, a particular what you, form, formality, a, f a formal, uh, a touch of for formality to your outfits. Let's say you're dressing like super bright, whatever your favorite color is, orange, whatever, and then you can cap it off with like a standard. Uh, I think you know, with like all guys, girls like guys in tuxedo suits and whatever like that, but not in Japan. It's kind of like the opposite. It's a long story. So, girls who had like boyfriends who didn't have a job and that kind of thing, of course, they really fancy the guys in suits. But let's face it, uh, the the real hot girls out there, they can get uh, any guy of their pick, and you know they they could care care less about suits and stuff like that. So in Japan, actually, uh, people regular suits in Japan uh, because there's a term called uh, the working man and it's not like in the USA where people try to get like a good job maybe preferably a six-figure job and if you succeed at that maybe you can spin off into your own company uh, the thinking is quite different and the working man is seen as oh you work versus someone who owns their own business versus someone who has a great inheritance or a trust fund that kind of thing so people in suits suits here bottom line suits here in japan are cheaper than regular clothing that's like quite a shocker but okay after bringing formality to the situation what do i do i'm walking and let's say you ride the train and stuff like that and if like people you want to you don't want to be seen here in Japan, especially you're under scrutiny in Japan more than other countries. Uh, you can cover it up. And what I've chosen here is not pink. Of course, I have a pink one for those who know me, but I'm choosing a host type uh, ascot uh, tie. And you can tuck this in, uh, which I really favor because for those with a lean body composition or like try to cut up, I'm in my cut up phase and uh, it can really be dangerous and uh, for all of you out there watch out for pneumonia it's one of it's one of uh, th those obstacles out there which can really set you back so watch out for colds and watch out for this area in general singers always like are careful with they keep like a bubble in front and any germ warfare that enters that space they really wear a mask and stuff like that for guys who are like cutting up i i suggest the same something like around here people who cough around you you should watch out and because i did use my host scarf today i'm gonna sport with my host jacket check it out completely ripped off that shows the state of my finances right um which is why i'm, I'm going I'm leaving right now to go and get thread for this and I'm gonna go to a magazine shop and try to learn to sew a button myself this isn't like the most uh, fancy of coats but it's one of my favorites so I hope you like it too uh, it really has like that uniform look from light and it's really uh, it feels good uh, the cut is a little bit umbrella type it kind of opens up and I don't like that but uh, for this color and for for my size for the cuffs and all the other good points that this brings in it's really one of my favorites